Imagine that it's your birthday and someone gives you a cake. Well, the person comes towards you with the cake. You can see that the cake has some layers and frosting, nothing more. You don't know if it's a chocolate or a carrot cake. The person says to you, you can try only a tiny layer of the frosting. And it's delicious. You want to know what is inside of the cake. Suddenly, you notice that there are several crumbs on the top of the frosting that came from the interior of the cake. When you look closely to them, you can see that they are just not one color, but they are brown and yellow and even red. So, is it a chocolate cake with some strawberry jam layer in the middle? Or it's a velvet cake with a chocolate layer? You're not sure. This cake represents our planet. And what you know about the cake represents almost what scientists know about Earth's interior. And while you can just cut the cake, have a piece, try it, scientists, they cannot just cut our planet into two and check the layers. Instead, they use so-called high-pressure apparatus. They are the equivalent of a woven when you make the cake. With the only tiny exception, they do not have the glass window, so we cannot see what is happening inside of them. So scientists collect ingredients on Earth's surface and put them inside of the high-pressure apparatus and, app and apply pressure and temperature. The pressure is generated by squeezing the ingredients between anvils and the temperature is generated by applying an electrical current. This allows a growth of minerals that we think exist in Earth's interior, like diamonds, for example. But because those minerals were created in such extreme pressure and temperature, some of them in an environment that it's a thousand degrees hotter, that you can feel right now in this room, some of those minerals are not stable when we took them out of the high-pressure apparatus and they disintegrate in minutes. So, how we can study them? Here, my PhD will be useful. The purpose of my work is to adapt one of the high-pressure apparatuses to a neutron tomography facility here in Australia. Neutrons distinguish each object by their density and composition. So I can use them as my glass window. With their help, I will be able to see what is happening inside of the high-pressure apparatus and characterize the minerals while we're making them. Also, I will be able to create a 3D image and even making a movie of everything that is happening inside without destroying or even changing the minerals. It's like watching a cake cook from inside out. So hopefully, my work will help scientists have a small window into Earth's interior. Thank you.